Hello, everyone. So let's get start started with the next session. So the learning objectives of this session is to determine the inductance in single phase and three phase lines. So in the last uh, session, you had got to know about how to derive the expression for a single circuit and double circuit lines and also how to determine it, the value of inductance for such particular lines. So in this session, we, will, we shall solve some of the problems for certain cases uh, considering single phase and three phase lines. So let's get started with this session. So let's begin with the first problem. A two conductor single phase line operates at 50 Hertz. The diameter of each conductor is 30 millimeters and the spacing between the conductors is 2 meters. So what is that you are supposed to find out here? You are supposed to calculate inductance of each conductor per kilometer loop inductance of the line per kilometer Also, you are supposed to find the inductive reactance per kilometer. Okay, let us draw. So here they have mentioned you are supposed to consider a two-conductor single-phase line that is operating at 50 hertz. The diameter of each conductor is 30 millimeters and the spacing between the conductors is 2 meters. You are supposed to find out the inductance of each conductor per kilometer, the loop inductance of the line per kilometer, and also the inductive reactance per kilometer. So let us draw the diagram. In some problems, diagram would be given, and some, based on the problem, you are, so you can draw them. Based on the given data, you can easily draw. So the diameter over here is 30 mm, dia of each conductor is 30 mm. So this you can call it as conductor X, conductor Y, and the distance between them is 2 meter. Okay, so we will start finding, okay, we will start finding the values. So first you are supposed, what is that the first one that is asked? First one that is asked is inductance of each conductor per kilometer. How much is, what is the formula for this? 2 into 10 power minus 7 lan d divided by r dash Henry per meter. Okay. So here you know the value of D that is already given in the problem that is 2 meters. R is you can easily find out but do you, but there here it's not R it is R dash. So what is this R dash? R dash is nothing but GMR of the conductor. R dash is nothing but GMR of the conductor. What is the value for GMR as already explained in sessions 2 and 3? It is 0 0.7780 into diameter of the conductor divided by 2. So it is 0 0.7780 into dia is 30 into 10 power minus 3. It's 30 millimeters divided by 2. So the answer that you will get over here is 11.68 into 10 power minus 3 meter. So this is the value of R dash. Okay. So moving on to the next one. So you are supposed to, uh, once you find out the value of R dash, you can easily find out the value of L. D divided by R dash Henry per meter. 
okay so it is 2 into 10 power minus 4 lan d divided by r dash henry per kilometer because they have asked you to find the inductance of each conductor per kilometer so i will convert it to kilometer okay what is this 2 into 10 power minus 4 lan d divided by r dash so the value of d divided by r dash is nothing but 171.23 Okay, D is 2 meters, R dash you have got 11.68 into 10 power minus 3. If you so divide it, you will get it as 171.23. So the value of L over here is 1.028 into 10 power minus 3 Henry per kilometer. So this is the value of L. That is the first one. First unknown whatever that they asked they had asked to find the inductance of each conductor per kilometer and that is found okay so what would be the next what is the second one that you're supposed to find out second one you're supposed to find out the loop inductance you're supposed to find the loop inductance of L is equal to 2 times LC. If you are finding the value of a loop, so obviously it will be the 2 times of the individual conductor. So now if you have found LC was an individual conductor. It was the inductance of the individual conductor. So when they ask you the loop inductance, it has to be, because there are 2 conductors, it has to be twice that of the inductance of each conductor. So it is 2 into 1.028 into 10 power minus 3 Henry per kilometer which is nothing but 2.057 into 10 power minus 3 Henry per kilometer the loop inductance for the case of two conductors it's 2.057 into 10 power minus 3 Henry per kilometer so what will be the value of inductive reactance that is the third one that they have asked inductive reactance is the next one next unknown value that you are supposed to find so that value is xl is equal to 2 pi fl so here it is 2 pi into 50 into 2.057 into 10 power minus 3 so the value of xl over here is 0 0.646 ohms it is 0 0.6 Four, six ohms so we have found out all the values here all the values are found whatever that they have asked initially they asked you to find out the inductance of individual conductor loop inductance so it will be twice that of individual because there are two conductors over here and at last you're supposed to find the inductive reactance so let's move on to the next problem Let's move on to the next problem. So the next problem is a single phase overhead line of 30 kilometers is to be constructed of a conductor. which is of 2.5 centimeter diameter you are supposed to find out you are supposed to find out the maximum spacing the maximum spacing between the conductors between the conductors in such a way that the loop inductance of the conductor is not more than 
zero point zero seven Henry. Okay, so let's draw the diagram. Let's draw the diagram here. This is conductor. Between the two is D. We are supposed to find this. The unknown over here is D. So this value has to be found out. They have asked to find out the maximum spacing between the conductors X and Y in such a way that the loop inductance of the conductor is not more than 0.07 Henry. It should not exceed this value. The, that value that is corresponding for it not to exceed 0.07 Henry is to, has to be formed. So based on the given data, the diagram is written. Okay, the diameter as mentioned is 2.5 centimeter. Here also the dia is 2.5 centimeter. Let's get started with the solution. So length of the line is given. Length of the transmission line is equal to 30 kilometers which is nothing but 30,000 meters. 30,000 meters. Loop inductance. Loop inductance per meter of the transmission line is equal to, so they have mentioned, it should not exceed, right? 0 0.07 divided by 30. First, you should uh, you can find it out like this loop in per meter loop inductance per meter of the transmission line. So they have given it. Uh, it is uh, it has it should not exceed 0 0.07 Henry divided by the length of the line. So that will give you the value of loop inductance. So it is 0. Point, sorry 2.33 into 10 power minus 6 Henry. Okay. So diameter of the conductor is given rest from the next it's a previous equation only can be used to find out the value of d so in previous equation you are first you know to find lc lc is given here you are supposed to find out the value of r dash so how do you find it so it's r dash is equal to 0 0.7788 into diameter divided by 2 on simplification, you get 0 0.778 into 2.5 centimeter by 2. The value over here is 9.73 into 10 power minus 3 meter is the value of R dash. Okay, you you are supposed to find out the distance loop inductance of the line per meter is nothing but 4 into 10 power minus 7 lan d divided by r dash. So it's 4 into 10 power minus 7 lan. You are supposed to find out the value of d that is unknown divided by r dash. Okay. This loop inductance is found. How much is it? 2.33 into 10 power minus 6 is equal to 4 into 10 power minus 7 lan d is unknown divided by 9.73 into 10 power minus 3 is the value of r dash. So on simplification, you get 5. 8 to 5 is equal to lan d divided by 9.73 into 10 power minus 3. Therefore, the, dis the maximum spacing between the conductor is 3.29 meters. Line is 3.29 meters. Okay. Let's move on to the next problem. You are supposed to 
calculate the loop inductance per kilometer of a single phase line comprising of four parallel conductors that are two meter apart and two centimeters in diameter and this when the material of the conductor is the first condition here is if it is made up of copper and second one is if it is made up of steel of relative permittivity relative permeability permeability value of this is 50 i'll repeat you're supposed to find out the loop inductance per kilometer of a single phase line comprising of four parallel conductors that are two meter apart and two centimeter in diameter the diameter you can imagine now there are two conductors diameter of each is two centimeters and the distance between them is two meters and you're and you're supposed to find the loop inductance if the material is made up of copper and if it has a, if it is of steel of relative permeability of 50 considering these two conditions you're supposed to find out the loop inductance per kilometer any problem of this kind you can draw the diagram here there are two conductor x and y distance between them is two meters the dia is two centimeter okay so now any problem loop inductance it's nothing but 4 into 10 power minus 7 lan 10 power minus 7 lan d divided by r dash okay so you're supposed to find out the value of r dash r dash is nothing but gmr of the conductor which is nothing but 0.7788 into the dia by 2 so it's 0 0.7788 into 2 into 10 power minus 2 divided by 2 answer is 7.788 into 10 power minus 3 meters so this is the value of r dash okay so next you can easily substitute it to the value of l that's nothing but l is equal to 4 into 10 power minus 7 lan d divided by r dash so distance is again given in the problem the value of that is 2 2 divided by 7.788 to 10 power minus 3 Henry per kilometer if this is Henry per kilometer this has to be 4 okay so what will be its value 2.2197 into 10 power minus 3 Henry per kilometer so this is the value of n it's 4 in general expression is this which is Henry per meter if it has to be Henry per kilometer suitably, it ha you have to change it and modify. So it is the final value on substitution over here is nothing but 2.2197 into 10 power minus 3 Henry per kilometers. They've also mentioned, they've also mentioned over here the loop inductance. The loop inductance of the conductor is made of steel. So L steel is equal to 2 times L internal plus L external. 
okay so l internal inductance internal internal flux linkage divided by i so you know the expression of for that is mu no mu r mu not i divided by 8 pi so it's 50 that is given of steel that is given permeability is given mu that is 50 mu not is 4 pi into 10 power minus 7 divided by 8 pi which is nothing but 25 into 10 power minus 7 henry per meter this is l internal okay you are supposed to find l external also again flux linkage external divided by i so flux linkage external is nothing but mu not i divided by 2 pi ln d by r divided by i over here it is 4 pi into 10 power minus 7 2 pi ln d by r on substitution what do you get it's 2 into 10 power minus 7 ln 2 divided by 1 into 10 power minus 2 okay so value of this is 10.59 into 10 power minus 7 henry per meter so this is the value of l external so l of steel it's a material so whenever you are considering a material you are supposed to find out especially the loop inductance the flux due to internal and flux external flux both the flux due to internal and external flux linkages after that you can calculate the inductance of that so loop uh, you will get the value of inductance since it is loop inductance it has to be multiplied by 2 as there are two conductors so l still is nothing but 2 times l internal plus l external so what is its value on adding how much do you get so it's 2 into 25 into 10 power minus 7 plus 10.59 into 10 power minus 7 henry per meter on simplification you get it as 71.19 into 10 power minus 4 henry per kilometer l steel okay or it is 7.119 milli henry per kilo so this is the value this is the value okay so let's move on to the next problem a three phase transmission line a three phase transmission line of 200 kilometers long line has its conductors of 0.9 cm dia and these are spaced at these are spaced at the corners at the corners of an equilateral triangle at the corners of an equilateral triangle of 200 cm sides the sides of the triangle is 200 cm which is as shown in the figure which is as shown in the figure now you are supposed to determine the inductance per phase of the system so let's get started the given diagram over here is like this it's mentioned that it is a equilateral triangle conductors are 200 cm each because it's equilateral all sides are equal so x y z 
dia of each is given as diameter of each conductor point nine centimeters. Okay, so let's start. Okay, so inductance. per phase of the system is nothing but 2 into 10 power minus 7 lan d divided by r dash r dash over here is 0 0.7788 into d by 2 where d is dia so how much do you get you will get it as 3.50 into 10 power minus 3 meters. Distance between the conductors D is given as 200 centimeter, which is nothing but 2 meters. So inductance per phase is nothing but 2 into 10 power minus 7 lan D is 2, R dash is 3.5 into 10 power minus 3. Therefore, Lx is equal to 1.26 milli Henry per kilometer. They have asked you to find the inductance per phase of the system. It's found. But you are supposed to consider, because you are supposed to consider the line length also has to be included here. Because they have mentioned the line length as 200 kilometer. Therefore, since the transmission line, since the transmission line is 200 kilometers long, since the transmission line is 200 kilometers long, you can find it as LX per phase is 1.26 milli Henry into 200. How much do you get per kilometer? Is it 1.26 milli Henry? Okay, for per kilometer, this is the value 1.26 milli Henry per kilometer. But you are supposed to find it for 200 kilometers. So it has to be multiplied by 200. So once you multiply it by 200, you will get it as 2.52 Henry. 2. 0 0.252 Henry. 0 0.252 Henry is the final value. Okay. Let's continue with the next problem. Here also a three phase transmission line is considered. A three phase transmission line has conductor diameter of one point eight centimeters each. The conductors are being spaced as shown in the figure we'll see the figure now as shown in the figure the loads are balanced the loads are balanced and the line is transposed So you're supposed to find the inductance per phase of a 50 kilometer long transmission line. Okay, the diagram that is given here is this. Okay, 
So conductors A, B, and C. The distance over here is four meters. It is six meters and nine meters. So they've given a three-phase transmission line that has a conductor dia of one point eight centimeters each. The conductors are being spaced as shown in the figure. They are not equilaterally spaced, and the load are. Loads are balanced since they are not equilaterally spaced. They have the conductors has to be transposed and it is transposed here. For this particular case, you are supposed to find the inductance per phase of a 50 kilometer long transmission line. Okay, so let's get started with the solution. Okay, the distance DAB is 4 meters, DCA is again 6 meters, and DBC is nothing but 9 meters. This is a given value. So radius, radius of the conductor is dia is given 1.8. So the dia is 1.8 centimeters. So it's nothing but 0 0.9 centimeter which is nothing but 0 0.009 meters so r dash is nothing but 0 0.7788 into r so its value will be getting around 7 into 10 power minus 3 meters r dash value will be this okay so inductance per phase we are supposed to find out the inductance per phase. LA is nothing but 2 into 10 power minus 7 lan. If it was a single phase, it's D by R. It's three phase. Therefore, it is D equivalent by R dash Henry per meter. So it's 2 into 10 power minus 7 lan. D equivalent is nothing but cube root of DAB, DBC. DCA by R dash Henry per meter. 2 into 10 power minus 4 lan cube root of 4. DAB is 4. DBC is 9. DCA is 6. Divided by R dash is 7 into 10 power minus 3. Henry per kilometer. This this is transformed to this. As a result, it's Henry per kilometer. On simplification, this gets reduced as 6 divided by 7 into 10 power minus 3 Henry per kilometers. So we'll get it as 1.350 into 10 power minus 3 Henry per kilometer. So this is the value. But you are, you are supposed to, per kilometer it is 1.350 into 10 power minus 3 Henry per kilometer. So they have asked you to find it for a 50 kilometer transmission line. So for 50 kilometer transmission line, L is equal to 1.35 into 10 power minus 3 into 50. We will get the answer as 0 0.0675 Henry. So this will be the value. So let's begin the last problem for today's session. Let's start with the last problem. So over here, you are supposed to find out the inductance find out the inductance of a three phase line operating at 50 hertz and conductors are arranged as shown in the figure.
the conductor diameter is zero point five centimeters. So this is this is how the conductors are spaced here. So you have A, B, C. So it's one meter, one meter, three meters. Okay. So again, the expression here it's well known since so many problems. Inductance per kilometer is nothing but what two into ten power minus four lamp. D equivalent by R dash Henry per kilometer. This is the equation. So R dash over here is zero point seven seven eight eight into D by two point five centimeters by two. You will get it as zero point zero zero one nine meters. Okay. D equivalent over here is root three of D A B D B C D C A, which is again equal to the distance that is given in the problem. So one, one, and three. One, one, three. Its value is one point four four meters. D equivalent over here is one point four four meters. Therefore, inductance. Per kilometer is nothing but two into ten power minus four lamp. D equivalent is one point four four divided by R dash zero point zero zero one nine. You will get a value of this as thirteen point two one into ten power minus four Henry per kilometer. So inductance per kilometer is. So much. Thirteen point two one into ten power minus four kilometer. So in this session, you were able to solve problems on three single phase and three phase lines, and how do you find out the value of inductance, inductive reactance, inductance loop inductance, per phase value of inductance, and inductance per kilometer, and also will be you got to know how to find out the value of inductance if it is a Uh, if they give you the kilometer of the line, either 50 kilometers or 100 kilometers, and how to solve all that, we got to know in this particular session. Thank you.